Pwah! Okay. This is the last call for the Sienna plushes. Get them before they are gone forever. Because they ain't doing it a third time. Peppers are the spicy of the fire. Mint is the spicy of the ice. Carbonation is the spicy of the air. And vinegar is the spicy of the water. And ginger is the spicy of the earth. Why would you both say things so controversial, yet so brave? You ever hear a new song and immediately go, Ooh, the fake scenarios in my head are gonna love this. Always hot local singles in my area and never recently awoken bloodthirsty vampires. Shaking my head. Shout out to the girls who don't mind being called dude and man casually. Shout out to the boys who don't mind being called girl. Shout out to the humans who don't mind being called dog. Shout out to the dogs who will let you call them anything so long as you say it in a happy, friendly tone. And shout out to guinea pigs, which are neither pigs nor from guinea. Y'all need to stop shouting and use your indoor voices. You ever sit down and think about how your gender, like, feels? Like, mine feels like a smooth ball with a bright aqua blue lighting. My gender is the demon core. I haven't. As much as I love, I would kill for you. It kind of really loses its impact if the person saying it is a villain who already kills at the slightest provocation. I would refrain from killing for you. I would spare them all if you asked me. Is a very sexy alternative. And a much more powerful declaration of love coming from a character prone to violence. Writing that one down. If you ask me what book I'm reading, I'll either go into a long-winded and enthusiastic summary of the entire thing, or just lift the book to show you the title and keep reading. Yeah. I've had enough internet for today. I'm muting myself into a pillow fort and looking up cute cats. <gasps> no, I will not elaborate. It's such a fun line. But unfortunately, I have ADHD and am incapable of shutting up. Yes, I will elaborate. Yes, I will elaborate, and that is a threat. Yes, I will elaborate, but it won't make anything clear. Yes, I will elaborate, but I'll forget my original point after 30 seconds. A retired Mr. Weasley casting a disillusionment charm on himself and going to listen to university lectures on astrophysics or engineering. Some poor sleep-deprived students sitting next to him and thinking they finally cracked as they hear random comments like, Fascinating, ingenious, or, Sorry, dear, but would you pick up that pen for me? My back isn't what it was. Followed by, Oh, Don. When he forgets, he's invisible. Beautiful. If my future S.O. doesn't stare at me like I'm their whole world while I stand in the candle section of Target, smelling every single candle before buying one, then what's the point? My mom does this and my dad always watches her. She thinks he's not paying attention, but last year he remembered the ones she liked and used that knowledge to get her a custom-scented candle for their anniversary. He had it named Target Sniffs. This is the cutest addition to this post I could ever have asked for. You support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how this alpaca learn how to type? Diversity win! The alpaca's gay! The ultimate power move in a vampire-fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who tries to invite them into their home. The fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality, and neither can refuse the appointment without showing weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into a position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them, and the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. Where is this book? I need it. Most movies. Girls change itself to impress boys. The Princess Diaries, cinematic masterpiece. Girl change itself to impress grandma. Well, I too would change everything about myself. It would impress Julie Andrews. I have done nothing but play Ark Survival Evolved for the past few days. Sleep, game, piss, repeats. Exactly what I no such thing as wasting your 20s. Your 20s are for recovering from whatever the fuck happened to you as a kid so that you're ready to get weird with it in your 30s. Yes. Perfect. I love that we all agree that having a Tumblr post blow up is an inherently bad thing. And yet, PM Seymour content, wait a second, is literally a bunch of Tumblr users on his Discord server being like, show this to the entire internet, heart emojis. And then he does because they're an absolute legend. Bullshit. We're all just out here ruining people's lives. It's awesome. 
I mean, as long as no one's feelings get hurt, right? Right, Andy? <laughs> Writing prompts. Aliens have invaded and are taking over. Their technology, intelligence, and power is unstoppable. They just didn't plan on one thing. The old gods returning. Ra waking up in some buried pyramid somewhere. Huh? What's happening? Thor walking around the surface banging pots and pans together. Everybody get the hell up! We have visitors and we haven't vacuumed in 10,000 years! Oh my god, Zeus is back to seduce all the aliens!